So what we wanted to do really, the inspiration here is the view. So we really wanted to focus on the view. We wanted to have a view in every room in the house as much as possible. My husband drew it on a napkin, a piece of napkin. We were in a restaurant or in a bar drinking and then said this is, you know, this is how we see it. We showed that little plan in a napkin to the architect and we started from there. And we found San Clemente in the village, you know, went driving down the city. We thought it was just a cute little town, mom and pop store, you know, we said this is what we want. I wanted to make sure that it, you know all the features in the house are architecturally great. So once you walk in the house, you see the staircase. That staircase has to be wow, you know. So one and two, when you walk in, you want to see everything at the same time. So that was another objective. When I'm here, I'm mostly in my office. But most of the time, when we're entertaining, we find ourselves in the kitchen most of the time, so everybody's always in the kitchen. You know, I'm preparing the food or, or just pouring wine, it just goes around there. It's just a relax. Everything is re in this house is really made to be just a relaxation or lounging or you know, it's nothing formal. Because we have our life in Paris, we're a city, you know, it's, we wanted something different. So more down to earth, more calm, more quiet. We wanted a really bright house. So, you know, let the natural light, to use the natural light as much as possible. Well, well, if you have just straight lines, I mean, what's so interesting about it, right? So, why not mix both, right? So it's when you're, when you're painting, you're not just painting straight lines. So, you know, mixing curves, mixing in anything, in fact, in mathematics, right, when you, uh, I'm not good at math, but, <laughs> but when you have uh, uh, geometric curves, you know, I mean, it's so much nicer in a car, when you design a car, it's aerodynamic because there's a curve to it and it's not just a straight line, right? So it's, there's always something about the, the mixture of, of lines and curves and the yin and the yang and the harmony and the balance. The round bedroom, yes. Um, well, it was designed with the curve of the, of the, the library since it's, it's a curve that follows it. So um, I designed a round bed with it. Some people don't like to have their bathroom open to their bedroom because the noise, you know. So um, it didn't matter to us if we have an open bathroom. Because we, I, I do a lot of sports. So my husband, you know, when he's here, he likes to do a lot of sports too. So the first idea was that to put the um, the bathtub there, but I said, no, nah, it's better to have the fitness area there, this way you have the view. It's the same, exactly the same, same wallpaper, same bed. I, I intentionally did it that way because that's the first thing that came into my mind. You know, share one bathroom, let's just call it the Jack and Jill room. So let's just do the same. It's very neutral, you know, it could go for a boy or a girl. There's no rules. In designing, there are rules, but you can break those rules. You know, you want to be original, break the rules sometimes. <laughs>